What's good, everybody? Welcome to my first episode of Tutorial Tuesday. Um, I've actually had tutorials on here before, but since I've done a rebrand, um, I actually taken them all down. Um, and it's been a few years actually since I've done on my last tutorial. So I thought, since we're all stuck inside for the time being, I thought it'd be a good good idea to get these started again. You know, maybe you guys want to want to learn how to a little bit of Photoshop on the side or something. But I hope you guys are staying inside. I hope you guys are all staying safe uh, wherever you are. But anyway, let's just get started right here. Uh, for this one, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to do the Mandalorian logo, like your own style, not the actual logo itself, your own style. Um, and the logo I'm talking about is this logo right here. Boom. I love this logo such a good logo first things first though you got to get a couple things online <clears throat> I've already got some images but you can Google these but the first thing you want to get actually is a font um, you can go to dafont.com d-a-f-o-n-t right here and then you're gonna look for this font it's called American Captain this font is actually very similar to the Mandalorian font um, and then you just got to tweak it a little bit um, to make it look like it and then we're all set um, once you have that downloaded go ahead and look up images um, for this one I'm doing I'm gonna do a Boba Fett version um, but you know you can do yourself you could do someone else you could do Daredevil or something you know first thing you want to look for is a flat desert landscape that's pretty much what I looked up on Google flat desert and this is what I came up with um, I like it it's it's pretty good exactly what I want so I downloaded it um, and then I looked for early sunset so I have two that I'm gonna choose from um, so far I'm leaning towards this one but I do like the colors of this one and then I looked up Boba Fett's ship as just like a you know second thing to add in you don't have to add it in maybe you want to add in your car and then I have Boba Fett full body like maybe you want to do Leonidas you know I would look in Leonidas full body <clears throat> um, once you have your images we're gonna go ahead and go into Photoshop Boom! make a new image I'm gonna go inches uh, resolution let's just do 150 it doesn't have to be too high make sure you're in RGB color and then we're gonna change it to 15 inches wide by 10 inches high create It actually looks a little too high, so let's. And we're gonna change the height to let's go eight. Proceed. Yeah, I like that better. <coughs> so going back to your images. Uh, let's see which one do I want to choose. So I think I'm gonna stick with this one. So I'm gonna kick. So like both flat desert early sunset and then I'm gonna drag them into Photoshop boom and then they should open up as their own their own files actually you know what I don't need the early sunset one yet just need the flat desert I'm just gonna go ahead and exit this one out because I don't quite need that one with the early sunset which is why I got that image but I do like all these mountains so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the pen tool, this one right here. I'm gonna zoom in, start on one end, left to right. And then pretty much I'm just gonna trace across the mountains. Slightly inside. Don't do it right on the line. <clears throat> you wanna go slightly inside. Cause otherwise you'll kind of see like an outline of the of the sky and you don't really want to you don't really want that Go all the way across it doesn't have to be perfect mountains are ragged and jagged anyway whoops Go all the way across
and zoom out. Now we're just going to go around the bottom. Now go ahead and click out of that. Go ahead and unlock the background layer right here. See where there's a little lock. Click on that. Sorry, double click and then it'll unlock. It'll be its own layer. It won't be the background anymore. <clears throat> now that part that we just traced, we're going to cut, cut that out. So what we're going to do is since you can't see the shape anymore that we just did over here in the thumbnail, hold command or control and click on the thumbnail. And it'll select it. See how it's already selected right here. Make sure you clicked on layer zero and then go down here to click mask. This button right here with the little square, the dark circle, click on that. Boom. Now that whole background is gone. So now we're going to take this image and we're going to drag it to our main image here. Boom. Look at that. Set it up to where the horizon is pretty much center. Take it down a notch. Right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our images. We're going to get that sunset one and then we're going to drag it into our main file. Go ahead and upsize it so it fills. And then going into our layers panel, we're going to drag it behind the desert. There you go. Right there. Now, as you can see, it's like a totally different contrast of colors between the two. So what we're going to do is going into, let's go ahead and name this desert layer, going into the desert layer, you can go to filter, you're going to do camera raw filter. <clears throat> okay. So this filter is basically, basically the same tools as you would in, um, Lightroom. That's what it is. This is basically Lightroom in Photoshop, which is pretty good. So downsize it a little bit so we can see the image. Now here, I'm going to go ahead and mess with it, with uh, the settings here to try to match the image over here. Let me see. So I'm going to go temperature. Temperature is pretty light or pretty warm. Sorry, other side. Exposure down a little bit. Just go ahead and mess with this until, you know, you pretty much you're satisfied. Vibrance up. A little bit saturation. <clears throat> Do a little S curve right here. And then for right here, this is this one's important. What we're gonna do is the luminance. See where it has the double triangles, the detail. Put the luminance all the way up. Now this this gives it like a like a that smooth cinematic poster feel and then just mess with the detail to see how smooth you want it you know detail all the way up you know less smooth and then detail all the way down makes it like super duper smooth see that so i usually choose to be up on the higher and then we'll go ahead and click okay Oh, oh my God, that looks delicious. 
Um, I'm gonna mess with it a little bit more. So I'm gonna go to adjustments, match color. And then see if I can match it even more. To the sunset. There we go. Okay, so once you know, once you like your settings, go ahead and just click OK, and then I want my sign to be on the left side, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it. I'm gonna go flip, flip, flip. There we go. And see how it's like darker over here on the desert and lighter over here. So I think it'll be better if the sun is on this side. Um, we're gonna go ahead and rasterize this layer so it's not a not a linked image anymore and then we're gonna do the same thing with this one I kind of want to get that smooth that smooth silky feel so go ahead and do the detail luminance up and then I'm gonna bring this to about 80 click OK <clears throat> there we go and then The next thing I kind of want to do over here is I'm going to blur this out, the, the, the background. It seems a little too sharp and it, it, it gives a clear contrast between the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the little drop tool. That's the blur tool right there, the little water drop it down some I'm just gonna go across it a few times click and cross that's about it so then I still don't like how light it is over here so what I'm gonna do is make a new layer kind of like how we did before so we're gonna select just this part but this time, instead of clicking this thumbnail, we're going to click the mask thumbnail. So what you're going to do is command click. See how it already picks. Make sure you're on the new layer. You're going to go to your brush tool. Go to black. And let's up the brush a little bit. Right click and make sure you're on soft round. That's what I want. And then we're just going to go across it. One, two. across there we go so now command D to deselect go to your layer let's put it mountain shadow and then pretty much you're just gonna select one of these um, easier way to do this is do shift and then plus or minus And then you just keep going until you find a good one. Oh, that's a good one right there. Just keep going through. Maybe find a better one. No, I guess not. Let's we'll stick with this one. And then so it's so intense. I'm just going to bring the opacity down a little bit. Right, right there. Look at that. That's beautiful. That looks pretty good. <clears throat> so now we're going to go back to our images and I'm going to select my boba and I think I want this one so I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag into Photoshop so it opens into its own file and then I'm just gonna start tracing around this bad boy oh, what happened 
and I hit delete on accident. All right, just like we did before, make sure you stay inside, just slightly trace all around this guy or whatever guy. Do yourself. Do your your dad, your mom, your dog. all the way and like I said make sure you stay slightly inside because otherwise if I'm not inside if I'm slightly outside you'll see that gray I don't want that I don't want that outline <clears throat> I'll go ahead and speed this up for you guys so you don't have to sit through all this All right, so now that you have it all traced out, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. You're gonna unlock that bottom layer. Make sure you're still on that layer, and then you're gonna command click on that thumbnail of that shape. Boom, selected, mask. Boom, ski, perfect. Now we're gonna drag that one, Mr. Fett, into this image. Beautifully done, beautifully done. Okay, so now we're gonna save this. Sometimes Photoshop or Illustrator likes to shut down and then you'll lose everything. And then we'll just name this Boba. Now, before we start messing with Mr. Fett here, I'm gonna go ahead and write down, or type in Boba Fett, just so we can get reference of where he's supposed to be. Cause you know how in the Mandalorian logo, you have Mando, you know, in the A. I wanna make sure, so type in Boba Fett or whatever you're working with. Make sure caps lock is on. Go ahead and change this to that font that we downloaded. American captain. Boom. Okay, so now go ahead and upsize it. I'm actually going to bring the letter spacing down some too much. Let's go to zero right there. They're way too far apart for me, so right there is good. And I'm going to upsize it again. And then I'm going to go ahead and rasterize it so it's no longer a type. And I'm going to center it. So the way to center an object is to click on your object and then command click or control if you're on a PC, the background, and then you'll see the alignment up here. Just boop. There you go. And then we'll go ahead and center it this way too. <clears throat> so now, since the A is right here, this is where I want Boba to be. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it downsize him a little bit and then downsize him a little bit more
There we go. Go ahead and hide that. And then you see for Mandalorian, the A is actually filled in. So we're gonna go ahead and do the brush tool. I should have done it a different way, but I'm already, it's already too late, so. Take the brush tool. Make sure we're on the hard round and we're just gonna fill in with the brush. There we go. And then to make it even more, we're gonna delete some part of the B because the R's kind of have it gone too, and you'll see what I mean in a second. So we're gonna go ahead and do the eraser tool, we're gonna break it down. We're just going to erase this little part. All right. There. There you go. And then we do this to this side too. Boom. Boom. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> there we go. Beautifully done, beautifully done, beautifully done. Okay, so now that we have where we want our Mando to be, I'm actually gonna bring down the background some. Right about there, that looks good. So we're gonna hide the type, and then I'm gonna start messing with the color of Mr. Boba here. So then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go to filter, camera raw filter, or shift command A, and it'll open up the options. Go ahead and zoom in so you can see clearly. And we're gonna start messing with this guy. Turn the temperature up a little bit, right there. Exposure down, temperature higher. I want that contrast. Give me that contrast. Highlights a little bit down. Whites down. Want the black. Give me the blacks. Give me the blacks. Clarity up. Just a little bit. A little bit of decays. Vibrance up. Give me a slight S curve. Luminance up, get that smoothness. See how it makes it kind of smooth? Detail up. Let's go about right to 80. That's where I like it. Click OK. Boom. Now, you see how Boba's shadow is on the left? But the sun's on the left over here. I'm going to go ahead and switch the background over. So we're going to go ahead and flip horizontal. Boom. That looks 10 times better. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and apply layer mask. And then we're gonna mess with him a little bit more. So we're gonna do the whole match color like we did before. And then go to Boba Fett.psd, what we saved it as. And then select background right there. And then just mess with it until you're pretty much you're satisfied. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do the same thing we did with the mountain shadow. So we're gonna add another layer. Name this Boba Shadow. Make sure you're on that layer, and then command click on that thumbnail. Boom. Make sure you're on that layer again brush out and then make sure you're on soft round and then we're just gonna do the left side boom right there there you go command D for deselect and then shift plus or minus So 
Top flight looks pretty good. Let's see if we can find another one. Mm, no, I'm pretty good with soft light. And then we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna copy Boba Fett and we're gonna name it Drop Shadow. Boom. And then we're gonna go ahead and Command T. You're gonna go to Distort. And we're just gonna bring this out this way. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, hide the top two layers. Command select that layer and then just paint it in black. Select. Open these two layers up again. Transform. Distort. And then bring it out. Make sure it lines up with the shoes. It's not just like a random shadow. Take the opacity down a little bit on that. Alright, there. That looks pretty good. And then. I don't think there's a need to add the ship, so we're just gonna go from here. I don't even have a need to add the shadow. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> okay, but the next thing we're gonna do is. We're going to move the type layer all the way to the top, and then we're going to do another layer. Oh, I'm going to name this Gradient. So then we're going to go to the paint bucket, click and hold, do the Gradient tool, and then pick any one of these you like. I'm going to go with, I'm going to stick with what I already had. So then I'm just going to go make sure you're on that new layer, and I'm just going to click and drag, either from top to bottom or bottom to top. Hold shift while you do it so it's straight. Boom. And then, make sure you're still in that layer. You're going to go shift plus or minus. You're going to go until you like one. And I think... Man, soft light, soft light's doing it for me. I think I'm going to stick with soft light again. Find it is, and I'm just gonna take it down a little bit on the opacity, and there you go. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all these layers we just worked on, we're gonna group it, and just name it image, and then we're gonna go ahead and <coughs> do the selection like we did already before. We're gonna go ahead and select on the thumbnail so it selects the type, Boba Fett, and then making sure you're on the image group, mask. Boom, oh my god, that looks beautiful. And then what we're gonna do is change the background to black. Go back to the gradient tool, click and hold, do the paint bucket, and then just make sure a black click. Oh, and then going back to the image group, you're gonna go ahead and go to FX, and you're gonna go ahead and do bevel and emboss. And see how it adds that extra shine bevel at the top. We're gonna change the angle, let's go to about Right here that looks good make sure your chisel hard depth all the way up size you can change it to what you like it soften zero I think that looks good shadow we'll take it up a little bit and then that's it there you go you have your own Mandalorian style design, you know, logo for yourself, which uh, I think looks pretty good. Um, maybe you want to add a little bit, a little extra line at the top like it has on the actual logo. Go ahead and center that, hide that. <clears throat> click command shift click there you go actually I'm gonna do this Deselect. all 
perfect. I think that looks bomb. All right, you guys. Well, that's it. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Um, feel free to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. I would very much appreciate it. Um, again, it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, so you know, I hope it, I hope this wasn't too harsh on you. Um, I hope I made it as easy as possible. Um, but if you chose to do the Boba Fett one, remember you can't. This is strictly for educational purposes this is not for commercial use um if you did your own style cool you know as long as you're not using any copyright images you're you're good to go um other than that you guys thanks again and uh enjoy the rest of your day thanks